Manipur reports spike in both daily COVID-19 cases. Test positivity rate 116. New infections 5.1% positivity rate logged in last 24 hours. State Mission Director Dr. N. Shamja appeals to schools to boost vaccination program for age group 15 to 18. Disturbed area status being extended despite claim of law and order improved in state and insult to people of Manipur, says Amuko President P.H. Nando Luang. And 800 crore rupees fund to be utilized by PWD for yearly program nowhere to be found in finance department alleges Congress. And Security measures heightened in state in view of upcoming elections. COVID-19 naging aptok na ba? Miyam na sapo na toy na kutpambiyo. To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Marks Ningtina Niom Jumna Upiu. Whenever you go out of your house, wear mask properly. Amadi Mi Amaga Mi Amaga Gimarakta Fit Taduklap Na Pandiu. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Good evening. Welcome to our STV English News at 8. Now the news in detail. Manipur's daily COVID-19 cases have surged as 116 new infections were reported along with 5.1% test positivity rate in the last 24 hours. On the other hand, COVID-19 claimed one more life in the same span of time. The state's death tally reached 2,012, while cumulative confirmed cases of COVID-19 infections climbed to 1,26,344. Meanwhile, 14 persons were discharged in the same span of time. Out of the new cases reported in the last 24 hours, 24 from Imphal East, 33 from Imphal West, 4 from Thobal, 2 from Bishnapur, 3 from Kakching, 1 each from Tamenglong, None, Ukrul, Chandel and Tengnopal, 3 from Kangpukpi, 4 from Senapati and 21 from Jajanpur were reported. State's recovery rate dropped to 97.98 percent states active cases climbed to 539 and 1,23,793 people have recuperated from the infection so far following the launch of covid 19 vaccination for the age group 15 to 18 by the Chief Minister on 3rd of January, State Mission Director of National Health Mission Dr. N. Shamjai visited and took stock of the inoculation drive held at different places. As the board examinations for class 10 and 12 are approaching, school authorities of government, private and central board schools have already launched the vaccination program for the eligible students to ensure smooth conduct of the board examinations. Dr. N. Shamjai has encouraged more schools to follow the initiative and enhance the vaccination program. Students are also being exhorted to take the jab so that together people can overcome the pandemic. Maru in a poi, class ten Tagadaba, twelve Tagadaba, Magi Pusigi, Shembia Bomatam, Uvinina, Yamaru, Hedna, Gomen of Indiana, Silaga, Quetari Umda, Honorable Sim Minister, Nasi, Kapasi, Zenim South Dupi, Hivini, Matanda, Sahi, Humpugi Matapaleva, Population Zigi, Hoygi, Missing Zelena, Manatra, Madi, Hai, Missing Zelena, Sinsen, Navi, Hena, Akangazi, Tapi. I don't know fifteen percent zip up the somewhere sixty three thousand Gumalai. I don't sixty three thousand zip, quick cup of Nova, Hogiba, Zanoari Taitara de Hosevini, using a sip of the Adum Pazana Saturday. 
President of Amuko, P.H. Nando Luang, has maintained that disturbed area status being extended till 31st of December, despite the repeated claims of law and order having improved in the state, means showing disrespect to the people of Manipur, and the state has acted against the wishes of the people. Speaking to media persons at the press meet held at the office of Old Manipur United Club organization, P.H. Nando Luang further said the order of extension of disturbed area status till 31st. 1st of December goes against the people. He asked why the disturbed area status was extended if claims are being made that stability has been brought in the state. He also condemned against the non-disclosure of the reasons behind the extension. Disturbed area status should be enforced in a conflict zone and it should not be imposed in a state like Manipur. Extension of disturbed area status in Manipur also means insulting the demand made by the people to repeal AFSPA from the state. December Manipur Lengakna, order of a Tokuna, Sali Bazahi is in Manipur Tweedi, December Gitang, Amafoba, Manipurda, Ipan Gi, Assembly Segment Tays Yoguna, Manipura Pumbada, Disturb Area, Sandra Behind Law, Tokibasi, Manipur Miangi, Aningba Apambogi, Mayokten, Manipurgi, or you film to the Hoji, Law and Order, if you want Pagalabrina, Manipura Makata, Disturb Area, the Mantoke, Disturb Area, Na Madam Orega, Hey, Madam Dumsida Paswa, Lady Basset, Lok Tulaba. Miyamna, Sahiki, and Mountain Club Convention, you see, Ikai Kurabum, Toy, Koyomi Kanabogi, I see a Pumpana Channel Habogi, Miyam, a kind of Polo, or in Mercida, Sumba, a quick Belanda Masibu, Yakai, Tigaman, the Amoena, Distabia, Haina, Lakopasi, Yana, Labu Tibini, Haina, Moko, my gay from Zeri. As the 800 crore rupees fund for non-plan and plan to be utilized by PWD department and which was approved in the budget for yearly program is nowhere to be found in the finance department, Congress has asked about the whereabouts of the huge funds. The party also demanded the CBI to take suo motor cognizance and start investigation on the case. Speaking to media persons at a press meet held at Congress Bhawan, working president of MPCC K. Meghachandra alleged that work order for the 800 crore rupees fund meant for non-plan and plan of PWD department is not being disclosed and he also asked inside whose pockets all these funds had entered. Moreover, liability for completed projects for the year 2018-19 to remain pending. K. Meghachandra also highlighted misappropriation of funds in other departments. He further informed that a cabinet meeting was held one day ahead of the enforcement of Model Court of Conduct and proposals with empty agenda were tabled in the cabinet meeting. He also alleged recruitment results for different departments were announced by setting back dates and he claimed it was the first time seeing such malpractice. Large amount of funds are being collected in the name of upgrading aided college and promising private colleges that they would also be upgraded to aided college and these funds are being utilized for the elections. Congress has submitted complaint to Chief Election Commissioner ECI and CEO Manipur to look into the violation of code of conduct, he added. Manipur Assembly na Works Department ki kaithoki ba budget pham graba pacha. Aaja ki Department ki allocate ta graba Department na in total approve ta graba. Masiki pacha se Finance Department the late drive se karom the loot ta graba ge. Masiki financial scam se hauziti koro ka the late bani na election ki period hoy bani na CBI na sum moto ke samal lokhat piraga 800 crore ki scam se masi investigation ta biu. Responding to a media query, the working president of MPCC said that it was unfortunate that the chief minister had accused other political parties for the firing incident where two residents of Samuro Awang Lekai died. The chief minister should first found out, find out the truth before making the statement, said, said K. Meghachandra. Congress will soon announce a list of containing names of worthy candidates to be filled in 60 assembly constituencies, he said. The recent incidents in Wangoi also, we have seen that Honorable Chief Minister has blindly blamed the other political parties. Without knowing the ideas, full ideas of the incidents, he is just charging to the other political party. It is very unfortunate that 
uh, it is not that after thoroughly investigation after finding the uh, report of the investigation he should say as yes, minister of manipur so Reform violence, it is uh, happening everywhere in the state. BJP is uh, forcefully or with intention to win the in the coming elections by the BJP. They are just, this is happening everywhere in the state. Vishnupur police commando enforced strong precautionary measures ahead of the upcoming elections. Based on specific input, Vishnupur police commando OCY Sakti Shain, under the supervision of additional SP operations, Roni Mayengbam, along with a team of 29 SAM rifles, launched search operations at Bishnapur Forest area yesterday. A KYKL Carter was arrested during the operation. The Carter has been identified as Namai Rakpambimol Maitei, 45 years, son of late Kokngang from Potsangbang Mamang Lekai, currently residing in Luang Kulin, Part 1, Noni District. The arrested Carter has been handed over to Bishnapur Police Station for further investigation. India has logged 1,68,063 new COVID cases in the last 24 hours and the daily positivity rate is at 10.64%. The Union Health Ministry informed on Tuesday the active case load of COVID-19 cases in the country now stands at 8,21,446. As many as 4,84,213 people have succumbed to the pandemic and 277 deaths from the virus in the last 24 hours were were also reported by the ministry. India's total infections are at 3.58 crore, while the cumulative recoveries from the virus stood at 3 crore 45 lakh 70,131. Omicron cases in the country have rose to 4,461 reported from 27 states and union territories. Altogether, 1,711 Omicron cases have recovered or migrated. Further, the ministry informed that over 152 2.89 crore COVID vaccine doses have been administered across the nation so far. JAC, along with the local residents, continued its agitation against the killing of Abu Jam John and Abu Jam Shashikanta alias Tomba of Samuro Awang Lekai. The irate locals were still blocking roads in the area. The JC also reiterated its demand of urging the government to open a police outpost and had refused to collect the dead bodies of the deceased until the perpetrators are arrested. The JC and locals have blocked roads at Top Sifai, Kong Hong Kong Lakshmi Bazaar, Wangoi Market and Samuro Market as the demands have not been fulfilled by the government. Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization leaders led by its president SK Wajit Shah inspected the condition of Mubarak who has been undergoing treatment at RIMS due to the incident which occurred at Mori Ward No. 5 on 7th of January. President SK Wajit Shah stated that the family of Mubarak and late Raj are living under poor condition and staying at Mori to earn their living with whatever work they could get their hands on. The widowed mother and sister of Mubarak are facing a lot of hardship trying to cover the expenses of the treatment and the daily expenses of the household. He further appealed to the government to look into the grievances of the family of the deceased Raj and the injured Mubarak and extend assistance to the families. I be the Rohit as a sent over. Rohit Katana Tabachi and Abukudim of Supana Bodmatanda, a member of the site, to heart and soul, Matin Pangani, Police Department, Lady Moria, the Lady Batuan Tonba, a Quigi, Muslim Council, Mani Mori, Amadito Anton by Quigi, Tommy, my mamma lady, Madu Mamasu Corporation, Pivin, and Nobus, a member of the site, Punukum from the Apil Tosel. A combined team of Imphal District Police, Narcotic Cell, Women Police and Imphal East Commando seized heroin number four powder and other drugs from a person at from a person residing at Khetri Awang Lake yesterday. The team led by Narcotic Cell Imphal East OC KH Dev Kumar on receiving possible tapes conducted such operation at the house of Wan Muhammad Wahid, 48 years, son of Led Muhammad Jalin. The team was able to seize SP tablets and ten Tramazium tablet and heroin number no. 4 powder. The arrested person along with the seized drugs were handed over to Porampad police station for further necessary actions. 
A notification issued on 8th of January by Special Secretary Home Manipur Government, which excluded Imphal Municipal Area from Manipur Disturbed Area status, has been further extended for a year. The notification stated that the extended disturbed area status in the whole of Manipur, excluding only Imphal Municipal Area, began on 1st of December 2021. On the other hand, northeastern states have been urging the centre to repeal OSPA from the northeast. Kakjing Range along with the Kakjing Range along with beat officers conducted drive against bird trapping and killing at major lakes of Kakjing district. The drive was held in main areas of Koidum Pad, Lamjao Maning Pad and Pumlen Pad and the nearby residents were also made aware of the consequences of bird trapping and killing and advised them to refrain from carrying out such act. Speaking on the sideline of the drive, Assistant Conservator of Forest and Munal Maite stated that among the different districts of Manipur, Kakching has the highest number of wetlands and with the continuous efforts made by the forest staff and the locals, bird trappings had drastically reduced. However, news about miscreants laying bird trappings has again emerged ahead of the upcoming elections. As such, Kakching Range along with beat officers launched the drive. He also called for joint efforts to save the migratory birds and make Manipur more greener and environment friendly. Hozik ekoi Manipur da live lam koi usse ki masik jaisu ki mati handai masi ekoi na pressure piru bata ki lakhi dabani adu na ekoi na hari patri anchi da asum sat pataraga di Manipur da ki lam koi usse singh lakhi dabu chiai adu na masi da ekoi maruina na part lai biri ba praja singa usse singh asibo yari mukai ekoi na fi sen bidna ma koi gupa biro si har piro si. Amadi Manipur se Sausik, Amadi Lamku se na marang kai na lakpa mahok sagwe pa Manipur do mo na ohen chai bise bidai thong do thamjagi. Kuki in P Manipur has urged CEO Manipur to reschedule the date of the upcoming election of the first phase scheduled on 27th of February, which falls on a Sunday to another day. Sunday is a day of rest from any work and worshipping God for the Christians. Scheduling the election day on Sunday has hurt the religious sentiments of the Christian community. It further stated that this will prevent many voters from turning up. It also urged the election commission to ensure the policy for all eligible voters to exercise their franchise and reach schedule the said dead. The North East Karate Do Championship 2022 was held at Kuman Lampak Indo Main Stadium in fall from 7th to 10th of January. Eight players from Moray, four boys and four girls took part in the tournament and won one gold, five silver and five bronze altogether 11 medals. The players were accorded a rousing welcome and praised on the return at Moray by the Maite Council Moray, Tamil Sangam Moray, parents of the players and the people of Moray. The CSO leaders com commended Moray branch coach Arambam Gretson Maite. Speaking to media persons, coach Gretson expressed contentment over the warm welcome accorded by the CSOs and people of Moray. He stated that the medals which they have won is due to the love support and help extended by the parents and the CSOs. The medals were won by one gold and one silver by K. Arya, one silver and one bronze by N. Mahesh, one silver and one bronze by Chinkhaingan Bamaite, one silver by K. Priti Chanu, one silver by S. H. Roshan, one silver by Inshila Naurim, one bronze by R. K. Diamond and one bronze by Pushpa Chanu. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol, CADA, launched a joint public awareness campaign with Thobal District United Women's Development Organization, Ketri Laikai Apunba Maira Baibi, and Ketri Laikai Apunba Club at Thobal Ketri Laikai Hautabi Ground on the theme Election the Mayai Kaba Chinjak Park Sanasijinaba Thingnaba Miyamgi Thaudang. President of Ketri Laikai Women's Development Organization Ning Thaujam Sumo, Vice President of Kada Dipanjit Ning Thaujam, President of Thaubal Ima, Sapam Ongbi Bimola, Ex Councillor of Thaubal Municipal Council Puyam Joteshwar, Ex Pres Ward Member of Thaubal Municipal Council Maibam Shamananda, and 
other ex ward members of Toba Municipal Council attended the event. Speaking as a resource person, General Secretary of Kada stated that among many reasons why today's youths indulged in using different intoxicants, one big reason is due to the influence they get from the parents who are also using drugs. He also mentioned that genetic factor is one reason. He reiterated that there is a high possibility of the children and grandchildren of abusing drug users when they grow up if the parents are habitually exposed to drugs. Forty-four Assam rifles under the aegis of 22 sector Assam rifles and IGAR East repaired the Azuiram Tamenglong Road stretch, which is about 24 km connecting Azuiram and 13 other villages under Tauksem subdivision in Tamenglong district. Earlier, the villagers were facing acute hardship due to a depleted condition of the road. Member of ADC Tamenglong Mika Panmei also contributed towards repair of this vital road. It took 40 days to complete the repair work of 12 km stretch of the road. The repair work got completed today. The repair road has come as a new year gift for the villagers as now they will have access to better education health employment government developmental schemes and markets for self-reliance opportunities dig of 22 sector sam rifles inaugurated and dedicated the repaired road to the locals of the area speaking on the occasion he asserted that people to be self-reliant and contribute constructively in the nation development. He stressed upon the importance of road as a gateway to development and prosperity. He also sought cooperation from the villagers so that the Assam rifles and the civil population can move towards together towards development of the society. ISTV News appeals to the public to wear face masks, follow social distancing norms and wash hands frequently as advised by the experts to protect from COVID-19. ISTV News also urges the public to get vaccinated in order to protect oneself and others from COVID-19. And before we close that lines once again. Manipur reports spike in both daily COVID-19 cases, test positivity rate 116, new infections 5.1% positivity rate logged in last 24 hours. State Mission Director Dr. N. Shamja appeals to schools to boost vaccination program for age group 15 to 18. Disturbed area status being extended despite claim of law and order improved in state and insult to people of Manipur, says Amuko President P.H. Nando Luang. 800 crore rupees fund to be utilized by PWD for yearly program nowhere to be found in Finance Department, Allegius Congress. And security measures heightened in state in view of upcoming elections. Well, that's all we have in this edition of news. Thank you for watching. Good night and take care.